Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to do a holiday lookbook. Now, there are so many occasions that we all have to dress up for for the holidays, so I'm just throwing out a few ideas of what I'm going to be wearing this holiday season. I actually have a um, business you know, dinner holiday thing to go to in New York. I have a couple of house parties to go to. I'm going to be going out to dinner with family and friends. So I decided to break the look at lookbook down into three uh, basic looks. So the first section is going to be kind of a business related. If you're going to an office function, whether it's a lunch during the day or immediately after work, then I'm going to do the middle section on um, more casual looks that are more kind of hip and trendy for going out to dinner in the city or going to a house party at your friend's house. And then the third section is more for a fancy party, although it's not super fancy where either of these things I would wear to a black tie affair. I was really loving the trends this year. Embellishments of all kinds are really on point this season, so there are the faux leather embellishments, which you'll see quite a few of in here. Um, there's also the metallic look, which I think I have one metallic piece. There's also a ton of lace, sequins, and faux fur this year. Those three, I'm sorry to say, or <laughs> you really won't be seeing much of in this lookbook because they're just not up my alley. I didn't get everything I wanted for this lookbook. I really would have liked to find a really beautiful um, sheath dress that was really fitted with an interesting neckline. I searched and searched high and low for the last month for one of those, and I couldn't find one. At one point, I was obsessed with a jumpsuit. I really wanted to do a jumpsuit, and I tried on like 10 of those, and because of my body proportions, they just don't look good on me. I have a very long torso. And you have to pick clothes that are flattering on your figure, and you have to know what that is. So while I was obsessed with jumpsuits, I finally had to throw in the towel and admit that really they're not for me just because they don't fit me right. Uh, the other thing is that I live in New England, and so um, I did buy a pair of strappy sandals. Oh, there they are right behind me to wear in this lookbook. If it's snowing the day that I go to New York for this dinner party, I will be ditching the strappy sandals and wearing my tall suede boots. So I'm showing kind of both. The takeaway from this is to, you know, for these kind of things, you want to feel confident. You want to feel good about yourself and your body. So find out what flatters your figure. Um, figure out which of the trends you actually will enjoy wearing and then buy those pieces. I'll try to link as much as I can or if it's from past season or unavailable I'll try to source something out that's similar in case you just want to you know look at it and immediately go buy it. And I'll put the links to everything in the information box below the video. So let's get on to the lookbook. So the first outfit is a office to a work related party where your standard black work trousers or a black pencil skirt and then you just switch out your top and your jewelry and your shoes to something a little more fancy for the party. My standard work trousers are my theory trousers. I love these. They're just plain black trousers but they have a tapered leg. The tapered leg is so modern now and it should um, be just down to your ankle so that your fancy shoes can show up. The top that I put with it is this a uh, white peplum top from Aqua. I got this at Bloomingdale's, but it has all this nice stitching and seaming in the front, so it's very form-fitting and very flattering. And then to put over it, I've worn this Vince Camuto tuxedo jacket. Um, this I got at Nordstrom a couple weeks ago. It just has the standard tuxedo lapel. It doesn't have any closure, so there's no buttons or anything cluttering up the front, but what it does have on the side is this great zipper detail. And I love the placement and the angle of these two zippers. I just think they're so flattering. They really help to pull the eye in at the waist. I just love this jacket. These are Calvin Klein sandals that I picked up last week at Macy's. I love these because they have a little platform down here. They have like a faux embossed leather here across the toe and here they have this nice thick ankle strap again with the embossed leather, gold buckle detail, nice high heel. I up the bling factor by adding on my Bobble Bar Crystal Hera necklace. I love these big crystals. They're really sparkly but not over the top. Then I also uh, put with it the ion cuff bracelet. This just adds a little delicate sparkle at the wrist. And then just to add a pop of color to this outfit, I also added these Alexis Bitar earrings, which I picked up at Nordstrom last week. Um, these are like a semi-sheer lucite, and they just have some crystals embedded in them. But I love this turquoise color with the black and white outfit. I just thought it was such a refreshing pop of color. All right, this next outfit, this is something that I would definitely wear to like a house party or out to dinner. This is a BCBG Max Ezria 
top. It's in jewel red. It has these great uh, pleats down the front and then it's a high-low so it's longer in the back. You know, covers up your junk. What I put it on with here is a pair of um, older leggings that I've owned for years. I got them at Marshalls a couple of years ago, but these are very on trend this year. The black leggings with the insert panels on the sides of either faux leather or sheer mesh. I'll try to find a similar pair and link them. These are Vince Camuto. Um, they're an olive green suede open toe booty, and I just love these. I bought them in the spring at the Nordstrom Rack, so I don't think that these are exactly you know, the exact same thing is still available, but probably there's something similar. But I love this with the outfit. It's kind of like the Christmas colors, but it's just off Christmas colors. So instead of going with like a, you know, a candy cane green, an olive green, instead of going with a Santa outfit red, more of a tomato red, and that's kind of what works for me for, for the holidays. I'm also wearing this necklace again, the Alexis Bittar Havisham, Miss Havisham necklace. And of course, with everything, I am also wearing the Bobble Bar Ion Cuff. Okay, now moving on to the more casual house party or going out to dinner in the city outfits. Um, this first one I'm showing, this top is from Bailey44. It's the beautiful burgundy top in faux leather front, and it has just a knit back. I saw this at Bloomingdale's and just fell in love with it, tried it on, had to have it. I put it with my AG velvet super skinny leggings. These are awesome. I picked these up at Bloomingdale's. They're a very flattering cut. I find the AG jeans to be some of the most flattering jeans. These are so soft. They're black velvet and so they just really amp up the festive factor on your outfit. I love getting a jean look with a fancier pant and I think they just look really hot when they're paired with this kind of a shoe. It's the Calvin Klein shoe again. And with this one, I am showing this Burning Rays necklace. I've owned this for quite a while, I think since last spring. I got this at Urban Outfitters. I love this look. I feel like it's so on trend and hip. It's just very modern and it has very youthful feel and I find it very flattering. So moving on to the next section, which is more of a fancy affair where you're gonna to wanna to wear um, you know, a fancy dress or something really sparkly. As I said before, I have nothing sparkly, but I do have um, this dress, which I absolutely love because of this um, faux leather embellishment. I hope you can see that well enough on the video and over here, but um, I just love this. It's like little ribbons of faux leather that are stitched down in this pattern. This is really a dress that shines from the back, so I love the back on this dress. And then it's got this big gold zipper all the way down the back. It's a fit and flare skirt. This is a dress that I wish that they had done a tapered knee length sheath on this. It would have been, to me, just so much classier, so much more elegant. This is a Patrizia Luca dress. I picked this up at the Last Call Neiman Marcus store. I am putting this with just some black tights and I'm wearing this with these boots that I picked up last year, uh, these are duo boots and these are a tall suede boot. They have a little bit of a platform, a nice three and a half inch heel for height. And what I love most about the duo boots is that you order them custom to your calf size. I had my husband get them for me for Christmas. I'm so happy I got them. I went to link them for you. Unfortunately, the duo boot company has been taken over by another company or something, they've changed their name, I don't know what happened, and now the boots are twice the price. I'll put the link there, you know, who knows, but I'll link another pair of boots that are similar that you can get, hopefully for less than 650 bucks. <laughs> All right, this next outfit is my favorite, and if I, <laughs> if I had a big fancy party to go to, this is what I would be wearing. Um, I, I'm hoping that, that something comes up. So starting at the top, the top of this art outfit is this express top. I got it in a size small. The one I picked up is blue with black trim. It also is a racer back and it has this nice gold zipper on the back. They have this in like 10 different colors. They also have embellished ones. I put that with also from Express, this beautiful little skirt. I really love the fabric that the skirt is made out of. I'm gonna hold it up inside out like this. So the top layer is this see-through mesh that has this uh, faux leather, almost like a flower kind of pattern overlay. And then the last item in this look is this BCBG peplum top 
slash jacket. It's the Pearson Faux Leather Peplum Top. Um, I saw this on the rack and fell in love instantly. I love the champagne color. I love the kind of metallic-y metal look that it looks kind of leathery, but it's not. It's just coated fabric that has this uh, diamond pattern stitching, this cool zipper down the front, and I also put it with the Miss Havisham necklace. Now here's the thing, in our generation we grew up that you always had to wear pantyhose, your legs were never naked. If you wanted to wear a shoe more like this with it, this is how you do it. Um, I didn't have time to do anything to my legs here, sorry, <laughs> I shaved them. <laughs> But I didn't have time to faux tan, I didn't have time to oil them up and make them look nice. So anyway, as you can see, they really shouldn't be going out in public without covering this time of year. So I just wanted to show it with the shoe to show how cute it does look with the shoe, but really I wouldn't really wear it like this. I would go with the tights and the tall boots or with a uh, low black booty. The other thing that I'm showing in all the outfits was this little Bejo bag. This is a gunmetal gray metallic look. Um, wristlet purse. Uh, it's convertible so you can take this off and convert it into a wristlet. It's just a really cute little bag. I love it with all the outfits. Um, this is old. I've had it a few seasons. Alright, so that's it for the lookbook for today everybody. I'm glad that I was able to, you know, find a few pieces that I really, really love to show you this year. I would prefer if I had a little more time to shop and get a couple more things, some sequins, something gold, or with some, some really blingy, fabulous dress I would have loved to find, but I ran out of time. So busy with the decorating, the shopping, the card making, the everything that we do. Plus, um, my mom had surgery last week and I went to see her and nurse made her for a couple of days. So it's been kind of a crazy couple of weeks. As you know, around the holidays, it always is. And then when someone in the family is having a health issue, it just becomes, you know, adds that much more stress on top of it. So um, don't worry, mom is doing really well now. Uh, she came through great. She's a trooper. So in order to do that, I had to sacrifice a few things on this end. So I hope that you liked the lookbook. I really enjoyed making it for you. Thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching, and I will see you in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.